Hey guys, it's Tomb Raider Games or Adam, and welcome back to another one of my Fortnite's top five videos. Today, we're gonna be going over five things that bad players still do here in Fortnite. So today's video is going to be featuring my weekly giveaway. I'll be giving away a bunch of PS10 Xbox cards. You guys can go ahead and buy skins or the battle pass, whatever you guys want to enter. It is so easy. All you have to do is drop a like on today's video, then subscribe to the channel. And let me guys know right now in the comment section below, what platform do you play Fortnite on? So not too long ago, about four or five months ago, I did a video called five things that bad players do in Fortnite. And I was thinking about that video recently and kind of comparing it to the you know bad players now because the average player in Fortnite is going to be a lot better now than they were you know four or five months ago so in today's video I want to go over five things that bad players still do today and also they do some things that I necessarily wouldn't mention in a video like this you know four or five months ago but now it's more of a big deal and of course guys one thing I forgot to mention is I will have a couple of the PSM Xbox cards hidden somewhere in today's video so it is first come first serve for those and then of course I'm giving away the rest of the codes to you guys in the comment section below. Besides that guys let's go ahead and start off today's top five. So starting things off here in the number five spot bad players don't like building in this game and this is a weird one because I think the first time in this video I had this in the number one or maybe the number two spot because back then a huge portion of the bad players, just the average players, would kind of avoid building. But nowadays, it's actually a lot different. That's why I have it here in the five spot. The really bad, or I should say the new players, just can't get that building mechanic down right away, which is completely normal. When I first started playing, I couldn't build that my life depended on it. But now, I would say a huge portion of the player base at least attempts to build when shot at. It might not be the best thing in the world. It might be in the wrong direction or might be the wrong, uh, you know, wrong piece. It might be a, a roof instead of a wall, but you know what? At least there's that effort there where people are trying to learn, which is really good. I think just, you know, seeing some of these crazy builds, you know, on YouTube and on streams, a lot of people now know that they have to build if they want to be good at Fortnite. So you still have those players who, you know, don't build. You shoot at them and they just keep running or they shoot back. But the majority of the player base now in Fortnite will at least attempt to build and kind of block your shots. So coming in at the number four spot on today's list, we just talked about how a huge portion of the new players or bad players, whatever you want to call them, are at least making the effort to build, which again is really good. So here in the four spot, one thing a lot of, you know, bad or new players do a lot is just building random things. Like all of a sudden you'll shoot them and then a, a wall will go up and then a couple of roofs, roof pieces will be all over the place and then some staircases will pop up. It's just, you can obviously tell when you shoot somebody and they start building, it's actually a huge giveaway because if you shoot somebody and they build a tower right away, obviously they're pretty good. If you shoot somebody and then all of a sudden 40 roof pieces go down, you can tell that they might not be the best. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is something I used to do a lot of. I would, you know, panic and I would build like a, a roof, a wall, a staircase, you know, everything I possibly could. I would build within a second because I panicked and I would get wrecked. But it all depends, of course, on, first of all, what you're playing on. Are you playing on PC? If you are, you know, you probably have all of your keys binded to whatever you want and what works for you. But if you're a controller, it's a little bit different. If you're playing on a specific uh, button scheme, it can be a lot harder to build quickly compared to others. So you kind of have to experiment with all that stuff and see what works for you. I used to play on Combat Pro so much and that uh, it was good, but uh, I just couldn't build quickly enough. So I switched to build a pro and it made things so much easier. So depending on what someone drops down within those first few seconds after getting shot can really tell what kind of a player they are. So coming in at the number three spot on today's list, the dreaded looting after a kill. This is one of those things that you can't really avoid. It's going to happen to you eventually. You're going to loot after you kill somebody and you're going to die. But the, the whole point is to kind of minimize the amount of deaths 
from this looting after a kill. And there are times where you just have to know when it's a good idea and when it's not a good idea because there are so many different scenarios where you can kind of say, you know what, no one's gonna be here, I'm gonna go ahead and loot that guy I just killed in the middle of Wailing Woods, whatever. But if you are maybe in an open field and you kill somebody, running up to him and looting him right away might not be the best idea or end game. And this is where a lot of people kind of fall into that loot trap is the end game because we sometimes find ourselves at the end game with not really the best items. We have a bad AR, we don't have a sniper, or we just don't have exactly what we want. And towards that, you know, last 10 people alive, there can be a lot of good loot laying around. And that right there is a huge trap. The small of the circle and going to loot during that time is a horrible idea. And you do see a lot of people doing that. Another thing that a lot of people tend to do, including myself, I catch myself doing this time to time, I go and loot after a kill immediately when I don't even have to, right? I already have a good loot. I have my scar, my shotgun, my sniper, my RPG, and then the guy might drop a, you know, gold scar, and I have a purple scar. And, you know, obviously it'd be nice to have that gold scar, but really, do I need it? No. And that is so frustrating when you run out there and you die when you really, in the first place, didn't need to. So coming in at the number two spot, on today's list, let's talk about building speed because building speed, of course, here in Fortnite is very important, right? When you see somebody who's building really quickly, really efficiently, obviously they are a good player, but just because you're a fast builder doesn't mean you're good. You know, you can spam things all over the place and it really won't get you anywhere. Then you have people who are slower builders. You have people who just build slower, yet they're efficient and they're skilled, except they just build slower than, you know, other people. And then you have the noobs, <laughs> the bad players who, can, you know, build, except they're, you know, very slow when it comes to building. And again, we've all been there, like it's okay. Like, we've all been at that point where the building mechanic was so weird to us, and, you know, we're struggling putting up walls and staircases and making a tower, you know, we've all been there, but you can clearly see when, you know, especially at the end game, when someone's trying to build their tower, you know, one wall goes up and then two seconds later another wall goes up and then, you know, their whole tower takes them like, you know, a minute, a minute and a half, but, you know, with time, of course, to get better and better and better at that, but building speed is a huge thing in Fortnite and you can really tell how good someone is just by the speed and the efficiency they build. So coming in at the number one spot on today's list, the one thing that bad players have been doing since the beginning of time, since the beginning of Fortnite, and this hasn't changed and it probably won't change in the future as well. So it has to do with the end game. Say, you know, 10 people are left, heck, five people are left. The circle is pretty small. Are you up in your tower or are you hiding on the edge of a circle in one of these sheds or hiding behind a tree hoping nobody sees you? This is the biggest thing. And you know what? I did this too when I first started playing Fortnite. You know, that end game can be nerve wracking, right? You know, you, you don't get there too often or, you know, you're looking for one of your first couple of wins and you're at the end of that match and you're just crouching behind a tree, moving from tree to tree, hoping nobody finds you. This is unfortunately what a lot of bad players do and it's one of the worst things you can do when you get to that end game so if you're somebody who is struggling to get wins here in four nights and you find that you're always making it to the top 10 or the the top five and you always finish second third fourth or fifth and you're wondering what you're doing wrong if you're doing this right here uh, this is one of the most frustrating things in the world because it, you know nine times out of ten it's going to get you killed there might be a, a time where you know you're hiding behind your tree and it's a 1v1 and you pop out and the guy is damaged and you shoot him once and he's dead but obviously that rarely happens so 
when it comes to the end game, you know, hiding in those those uh, the, the, the shacks or the the sheds or on the edge of the storm, just waiting to get the win, it's not a good idea. You gotta start building, and that will definitely 100% lead to a ton more wins here in Fortnite. When you look back and you compare what bad players were like, you know, in December or, you know, October, September, around when Fortnite first came out compared to now, the biggest difference is back then people didn't build at all and now everyone's building except it's just, you know, the ability to build. You know, how good can you be at building? That to me is the biggest difference, but of course you have things like looting after kills and of course we just talked about the end game crouching behind trees is one of those things that hasn't gone away and you know you just have to be very careful with that. The looting with the looting one is one thing that you sometimes can avoid, but there are times where it's blatantly obvious you shouldn't do it and people still do it. So besides that guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe for more Fortnite. Top fives, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.